Hi, Fire Signs. So I'm here to do your read. I definitely uh, have a couple different new ways of doing this. I'm actually going to go back to reading a uh, little passage from books, various books. Um, this book here is actually called The Science and Health with Key to Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy. Um, it's a wonderful little abstract book. I'm not religious, but if you are, this may pertain to you. If not, uh, take what fits and leave what doesn't. Um, I did open up to page 373. Um, it says, the fear of disease and the love of sin are the sources of man's enslavement. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but the scriptures also declare through the exalted thought of John that perfect love casteth out fear. I kind of feel like I got that for another sign. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, we can go ahead and flip again just in case that's like a page that's kind of bookmarked there. I open up to 496. Next, uh, we all must learn that uh, life is God. Ask yourself, am I living the life that approaches the supreme good? Am I demonstrating the healing power of truth and love? If so, then the way uh, will grow brighter unto the perfect day. Your fruits will prove that the understanding of God brings to man uh, holy perpetually, perpetual. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read. Uh, hold perpetually to this thought. Uh, that is a spiritual idea and the Holy Ghost in Christ, which enables you to demonstrate with scientific certainty the rule of healing based upon its divine principle, love underlying, overlying, and encompassing all true being. So this kind of just talks about, um, you know, what is the, uh, what is your purpose right now? What are, what are you demonstrating? What kind of power do you want to manifest for yourself and for the world? Um, what kind of... Um, love are you able to express and in which ways? That's largely what I'm hearing here. I did actually uh, pull a couple cards from here, so I'm just going to shuffle once more. I'm going to use the Rider Waite Tarot for your main four card spread, and then I will get some clarifiers from another deck. Um, we'll just see what calls to us when we get there. So um, this is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. I am going to go ahead and do all fire signs today, and we'll see. I'm trying to keep these reads a little shorter just to for upload time's sake, and uh, we'll see what happens. So um, let's get some cards on the table here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's too many. A whole bunch came out. Um, okay. I'm hearing you guys might be a little quiet today. Feeling um, more internal. It's just something that came through. Uh, I did get the Ten of Cups in the upright. So someone is very happy about something. You may be just content. That might be why you're feeling quiet or in a quiet space at this time. Um, you also could just be feeling very happy about the new year or whatever it is that you're working on at this time. Uh, it looks like you're defending that and that you're not wanting to work together with some type of a fire sign. So you may... Um, be working with other fire signs, Leo, Sag, or Aries, uh, and you could be just wanting to kind of have some autonomy at this time to enjoy your your peace and quiet, or your happiness, or your um, your your copacetic nature here. So um, if you kind of take a look at all of these as being a before and after story, um, this also says to me that you were defending your happiness against something potentially in the past, and at this time you're not going to be working towards whatever it is that you were defending before. So you may want to come off the defense of trying to always prove yourself or always trying to be happy or always trying to present a, a game face is what I'm hearing here. Um, and then also over here, it looks like you're literally withdrawing your, your energy from a, a situation where you were working together or you were, you did have your game face on, you were, uh, you know, able to manifest something, but it looks like this man is turning away from that at this time. So you may have switched directions a little bit, reoriented your goals, your um, your mindset about something, and uh, kind of figured out a way to separate these two. So you're going to defend not working together with a fire sign, potentially. Uh, or maybe this is an aspect of yourself that you're working on in improving, especially because of the passage that we just got from that book, uh, asking you to call into question uh, the source of your own power and how you're 
applying that at this time. So you may be uh, kind of battling mentally with yourself about what, uh, how to move forward or progress with whatever situation it was that uh, was making you happy or is making you happy. Um, and that could just be an internal, very private uh, conversation that you're having with yourself. And that might be where some of the silence is uh, kind of coming from here. I do want to get, uh, I'm going to use my angel cards and get, get some clarifiers for you guys. Uh, I will go ahead and give these a shuffle as well because I'm not sure. I didn't shuffle, I didn't pre-shuffle these to be quite honest with you. Uh, let me just. Okay. So let's get some clarifiers for the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius, please. All right, we got the Page of Fire in reverse. And for the Seven of Wands, we got the Page of Water in the upright. For the Three of Coins in reverse, uh, we got the Chariot in reverse, and then uh, for the last card that just flipped out, for the King of Wands, we've got the Sun in the upright. So this is very interesting. Um, so for the your happiness here, you're deciding to kind of pull back from something that maybe was really exciting for you, was really, you know, going to make you happy, was a situation that you had your eye on for a while. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm getting just a, a timeline here. Uh, you may have had a long time of being in this kind of unshakable, unmovable um, manifestation mode, just because this is your, you're showing up in your own reading here, and this is only a four, four card spread. So you are, you are showing up, and uh, because you have your stick up here, I'm saying you must have been manifesting something, and it was making you really happy. At this time, because this isn't the reverse, I am seeing that you're wanting to pull back a little bit. Like I was saying before, you could have been defending yourself a little bit too much, or um, you could have been, um, you know, this, this page of fire is also a fire sign, but it's more of a, a the beginning of an offer or the be, the beginning stages of creating something. So you may have been uh, on this timeline uh, at a certain at a certain point, just kind of um, like a pendulum. I'm seeing a pendulum back and forth on a clock. Um, you you may have timed your movements very carefully. You may have have a very regimented life in a certain aspect, and this was an, the next regiment that you were planning on biting off in order to make this continue. I don't know why that's coming through for you guys, but it is. Um, then also we've got the seven of wands and the page of water in the upright. So you may be defensive over something that emotionally took place. Uh, although this is a, you know, obviously. This uh, denotes kind of a fire sign energy there. Um, also, you guys obviously have emotions as well. And something emotional or slightly um, off kilter may have happened with your attempt to move that pendulum forward or to move things uh, in the, the direction that you wanted them to go there. Uh, and because of whatever uh, kind of sensitive issue had arise, you're now feeling as though you have to put in work or you have to actually do something to make this uh, ton of, of cups come into fruition in a different way. And it needs to be a little bit more emotional, just a smidge. Um, I'm, I'm hearing that you may have uh, overlooked a couple details that might be why this is in reverse, about how to move forward in that specific aspect. Uh, I feel like you're in a little bit of hot water. I don't I don't know um, why I'm just seeing hot tubs and hot water all of a sudden, like steamy water. So you, you, um, this could be something new that came into your life that is a little bit of like a hot new issue. Like it might be something positive that you're wanting to defend. It might be something, an emotional offer that you're trying to defend. Um, whatever the case may be, you, ha you have a new direction that you're trying to move and it is a little bit more geared towards making you uh, emotionally happy. You've got the three of pentacles in reverse as well as the chariot in reverse. So the chariot card can sometimes mean a cancer. Um, it can sometimes just mean a water sign of some type. So Pisces, Scorpio, or cancer. And you're not wanting to work together with uh, whatever situation, or maybe you're not able to. If something has come up and been an emotional block for you here that you feel like you need to defend, but then you could be deciding that you're going to kind of withdraw a little bit of your, um, your watery being. 
Um, I'm just hearing also that because of the passage that we heard from the book, um, you may have decided that the best way to express love is through some tough love. Um, that's also what I'm getting right here is that moving forward there will be tough love and that's just the way that things need to play out at this time in order for you to attain your happiness this is a sun card so um you may need to you know figure out a different way to shed some light on a situation either emotionally or otherwise uh, to figure out your next stepping stones but i do feel like you're gonna get there um the sun card is number 19 and it just says happy outcome so I do believe that you'll get there, uh, Sagittarius. I think you're going to be able to align yourself with a uh, a new a new start, a new uh, you know you may have like literally a son or a daughter uh, that is you know that you're trying to figure out how to address here, um, that you're defending, that you're wanting to kind of uh, bring to the forefront of your life a little bit more so that you can uh, really enjoy that warmth. I don't know why I'm hearing just a lot of heat is coming off of these cards. And I don't know, uh, you, you may, uh, I'm also, just because of the word heat, I'm also seeing like um, a lot of radiation, I guess you could say, or like uh, attention on you. You could feel like a lot of, um, you can't find a place to kind of hide your head like an ostrich in the sand. I don't, these are strange messages that are coming through, but uh, hopefully they make sense to you guys. And uh, I'm going to leave this here. Let me get one more passage from this book since we kind of did a, a double read on the beginning. Um, yeah. So I think I am opening up to the same pages because that just opened back up to 373, which just may be an important page for you, but let's just, um, I also got page 77. <laughs> Um, existence continues to be a belief of corporal sense until the science of being is reached. Air brings its own self-destruction both here and hereafter for mortal. Mind creates its own physical conditions. So yeah, you may be thinking about how to create your own condition here, uh, about how to improve your own condition, how to seize the power that you know is inside of yourself. And I think in order for you to do that, uh, you need to really figure out what it is that is, th what's the discrepancy between these two offers. These are both um, immature, not immature, I don't want to say immature. They're both preliminary offers. These are both beginning stages. These are both knights. So they're not kings. They're not established yet. These are both uh, just kind of the, the start of something. And you may need to figure out a different route to do so in order for you not to have to defend your happiness. So that's what I'm getting for you today. I will be back next week for some more. Y'all have a good one. Bye.